need some kosher salt. So we're going to go ahead and add our milk to our pot on low heat. So after you add your milk into your pot and you have it on low, you're going to add one and a half teaspoons of your citric acid. So you can go ahead and add that into the pot. So while our milk uh, heats up on low, we're going to heat that up to 90 degrees, okay? You can use one of these guys right here, trusted digital thermometer. If you don't have one, you should get one. This is the Cooper brand, also available on Amazon. Um, let's talk about our rennet tablets. This is our enzyme that's going to help cure the cheese. You only need a quarter of this tablet for this recipe, for our gallon of milk, okay? So we're going to cut this into a quarter, and we're going to dilute it into two tablespoons of water. milk has reached 90 degrees, we're going to go ahead and add our vegetable rennet. Uh, we can go ahead and add that in and mix it up while we're doing it. And you want to mix that up for about 20 seconds. After we add our rennet, we're going to go ahead and turn off the heat and then let it sit for five minutes. Now that our milk has been sitting for five minutes, we're going to do something fun, cut the cheese. What we need to do is get a spatula or something thin that we can use to cut all the way down in the bottom of the pot. We're going to cut one inch vertical and horizontal lines to make squares. Now that we've cut our cheese, we're going to go ahead and turn our heat back on to low. And we're going to give this thing a slow stir, break up some of those curds, then we'll stop mixing and bring this up to 105 degrees. Alright, now our mixture has reached 105 degrees. We're going to go ahead and strain this through a mess strainer. Any mess strainer will do. You want to separate the milk curds from the whey, which is the water uh, that's in the milk. So go ahead and strain this out. So we'll go ahead and give this a little mix. Let the uh, liquid find its way out of here. So now that we got our cheese curds, we're gonna go ahead and blanch them again so that we can form them into our mozzarella balls. I have a water bath here at 185 degrees. This recipe makes three nice sized mozzarella balls. So we're gonna take a third of our uh, cheese curds and then we're gonna blanch them to an internal temperature of 135 degrees and then we can work that into our mozzarella ball. So let's go ahead and blanch that. And you're going to 
pull this, the more you pull it, it's going to start turning into more of like an elastic smooth surface. And once you get that smooth surface going on, you can actually roll it into your mozzarella ball. Turn that into our ball. What you want to do is you want to take everything and just tuck it underneath to the bottom of the dough. bottom, place it on our cutting board, there's our mozzarella ball. Last step of this process, we're going to take our mozzarella ball, blanch that in some ice water, stop the cooking process. Alright guys, here it is, our fresh mozzarella ball. I hope you guys try this at home. I know it seems a little daunting, uh, but it's not that hard once you've tried it. Um, but if you don't want to do it yourself, all week this week, in the dining room, we're gonna be running fresh mozzarella with some cherry tomatoes, a little fresh basil, some sherry vinegar, and some olive oil. $12 in the dining room all week this week. We'll see you soon. See you guys.